Hey there, my name is Jason. I'm the founder of FreeCPAPAdvice.com and FreeCPAPAdvice.com forward slash forum where we help people for free with all problems related to CPAP and CPAP therapy. That includes BiPAP and ASV, folks. So one of my members was made a comment that, hey Jason, you should have your own TV show. You actually make CPAP fun. And I, being a wanker, was very flattered by this. And so here's what I started thinking about. I started thinking about a call I got back in June and it started getting me pissed off. And while I was getting pissed off, I was thinking, you know what? Everyone who's been on YouTube for any amount of time has one of those YouTube beef videos. Now, no one has a bigger beef than me. That sounded nasty, it wasn't intended to be. But I have a beef and let me share that beef with you. So let me give you a little bit of background real quick. So I do these videos. You know that because you're watching it allegedly right now. I had a video back in the, right when this call came in and it was me called, it was called uh, anatomy of a CPAP or autopsy of a CPAP. All I do is I take a machine, tear it apart, look at what's inside. Hey, look what's inside. That was it. I just like tearing stuff apart and seeing what's inside. I thought I'd videotape it. Nothing big, not much, uh, not much substance, much like this video right now. But I also have a business called AXG Sleep Diagnostics. If you want to learn more about it, axgsleepdiagnostics.com. What we do is we do home sleep testing. We send these out, the patients hook themselves up, we have very detailed instructions, and the difference between ours and other people's is ours is a type two. So we have electrodes on the head. I can tell if you're awake, I can tell if you're asleep, and I can tell what stage of sleep you're in. This lady agreed, she thought it was cool. Let's take a listen. Hi, Jason. My name is Linda Wong, and I'm television producer of a series on sleep disorders for NBC Universal. Interested in speaking with you in regard to a feature story of AXG sleep diagnostics. And my number here is 323. It's hosted by William Shatner. It's hosted by William Shatner and certainly look forward to your call. I did watch your video on the autopsy. <laughs> All right, I look forward, thanks, bye. Okay, she calls back, we missed calls a couple times. Couple things, number one, how the freaking hell did you get my personal phone number? This isn't my business line and she calls me on my personal phone. How creepy is that? It's weird, that's one beef and I blame this on. By William Shatner. You heard it, William Shatner. And we'll get back to that jackass in a minute here. The other thing is at the very end of it, you hear her say, looking forward. Looking forward to what? what you gotta look forward to something. You can't just say, I'm looking forward. If you're looking forward, what I imagine is some jerk on the bow of a boat, like doing one of those, like the, ahoy land mateys. <laughs> What is that? You gotta say I'm looking forward to speaking to you. I'm looking forward to blowing you off later and not calling you back. I'm looking forward to you punching William Shatner in the belly. <laughs> I'm spitting, I'm so mad. So I did actually have a conversation with her and what she thought was I was somehow like Hewlett Packard toiling away like a Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak in the garage inventing this thing. And I said, no, I'm sorry, man, I, I don't, I didn't invent it. Oh, you must have created it on some level. I mean, yeah, well, I created it in the fact that, and I went into the whole thing of these other sleep tests, not as accurate, uh, they're expensive, they're not quite as accessible as they should be, and they don't have the follow-up that they should. So what I try to do with AXG Sleep Diagnostics is resolve all this, right? That was the whole point. I said, you know, sorry, there's not much. And she said, oh, well, that's interesting, though. That's still very interesting, and oh, that's great, blah, 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 blah. So here's what we do. We're gonna send a crew out to you, and we're gonna have this crew uh, follow you around for a day. And I was like, oh yeah, you know, <laughs> about that. I was like, you know, that's not gonna be really exciting. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not a TV producer, but I think that would be really boring because what I do is I, I just, like I get the order, I call them up and try to coordinate when to send it out. I package them up, send them out. And then I wait around for several days and wait for it to come back. And when it comes back, I download it and I score it. And so I said, really, it's a lot of me just on the phone for a couple of seconds. 
and then I'm just scoring it on the computer. And you could hear at this point, the whole demeanor changed. And it was not about William Shatner, and it was about, uh, we'll get back to you. We're just part of a panel and we're gonna decide what we want. Now this came through in June. By late October, my wife was all over it. Just, hey, have they called you back yet? Have you received a call from NBC Universal? It's hosted by William Shatner. And I'm like, no, I haven't. And now she's even been doing it. So I'm getting more and more pissed off. But here's what I'm really pissed about. And you as a CPAP community in solidarity should be pissed off with me. And here's why. When I could tell she was going sideways on me like, hey, all right, hey, don't call me, we'll call you. I said, you know what a really neat story would be and this would really help get the word out is patients aren't followed up with at all. I mean, you know, I said, you know, I have that, C that the channel that you saw the video on. I said, it has all kinds of information. Patients aren't getting this information anymore. They're diagnosed as shoddily as possibly, as shoddily as possible. They're just thrown mask, they're thrown equipment, they're given no structure, no information on, on what to do, no recourse if there's any problems. It's just kind of like, here's your stuff, you're done, and that's it. So I said, what I do, and a couple other people are doing, is we're filling in the gaps. We're trying to answer these questions, we're offering some help. Sure, I have advertisements on my videos and on my website. It's just to make a little cash on the side because it takes up a lot of time. There's another gentleman who has a donate button and same kind of deal, just to make a little money on the side, because it does, it takes up a lot of time to do the administrative stuff behind the scenes with it. So she was like, oh yeah, that is pretty impressive. You know what, that might be a better angle. And guess what? Never got a call back, they hated it. It's hosted by William Shatner. I'm pissed, and as a CPAP community, you should be pissed too, because if you're not on CPAP yet, you may not be getting the information that you don't know that you need, or I'm sorry, if you are on CPAP, you're not getting the information that you don't know that you need unless you search it out. If this was on TV, because every schlub in the world watches TV, I love it. That's where you get the information and it can help bring about conversation and where'd you find this and hey, there's a free resource for you. It's called freecpapadvice.com forward slash forum, but no, they didn't do that. They probably went with like a talking mechanical donkey that does surgery, I don't know. Who knows? So William Shatner, you choco taco eating donkey lover, I'm pissed at you and so is the whole CPAP community. Your show, if your show, if Star Trek were on today, it would not even be rerun on Oprah's channel and they rerun everything. Today your show wouldn't even be picked up by Bravo William Shatner, not even Bravo would pick it up. Hey, William Shatner, Priceline is like the MySpace of travel websites. Everyone uses Kayak, Priceline sucks. And that's just not me talking, that's me and the whole CPAP community. So stick it, William Shatner. Captain, Captain, we got no power? Well, you know why? It's because William Shatner pulled the goddamn plug on it, you son of a bitch. Hey, William Shatner, I challenge you to a dance off.